you know, Rob- Roberto, for Christ's sakes, <laughs> the, the guy's won two games in a row. Now is the time for a toilet ad? That was an homage to him. Read it's the room. a celebratory room. toilet. Um, well, people were very excited. Uh, Rico with the day off today. But I, I, we have made a discovery. And we've got a full show. But to, to my left, this is a pleasure. I mean, not only one of the, the true rising stars in our business, but also we have discovered possibly the most notable alum under age 50 in Central Michigan University history. James Anthony Costa, you may know him as Cookies, is joining us today, my partner on Cash the Ticket. Jim, I know you're fighting this. Tomorrow's a big day. You're going up there. Ribbon-cutting ceremony for the North End Zone expansion. That's right. If anybody in the Mount Pleasant area would like an autograph, uh, Cookies will be at several local establishments including the mountain steakhouse or whatever it's called <laughs> it's this is this is very very exciting you know i don't appreciate i don't appreciate the the patronizing to start the show wait it's not <laughs> i made this point you cannot find a more notable classy cmu alum under the age 50 dick enberg's dead dick dick enberg is dead nobody Rest knows dan marley you have to be old like me who walks around Mount Pleasant talking about Dan Marley? Nobody. Probably a lot of people. Oh, David Weber? Nobody cares. You're Chris, Chris's Chris, brother. Chris Kamen? First round pick? Okay, my point is if I had to do a Mount Rushmore of CMU alums under 40, you're on it. Kenny ain't on OU's. I'm not on Michigan State's. Well, someone should tell them that. The only phone calls I get are, hey, you want to make donations? Wait, 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 wait but that's my point. They don't recognize you, so no. we're recognizing okay. you today. We're on a journey. But well, you're going to be up there tomorrow. I am. It, it's are, in, are you are you going to be treated like Draymond is at MSU? I, mean, I, I got some sideline passes. We'll be hooked up. Enjoy the game. I, I will say this. Can you hold up a sign? What do you want the sign to say? F Western? No, yeah, I, I mean, no, sure. I, that's... I, I, something like uh, the, you heart Rico or something oh, about cash the ticket. I don't know. Cash the ticket sign would be nice. Are you I'll, I'll be, be one a... of only like 25 people in attendance. So, I mean, the chances of putting... My face on TV are pretty high, but right? But are they going to honor you? Like I when don't there's think a, so. So when there's a timeout, they're not going to. They're bring not going to bring me on the field and like, have you know me when people like people give money at Michigan State and they bring out like this decrepit old couple and they hand them a Spartan <laughs> helmet on the field. Today, yeah. I consider myself yeah. the luckiest man right. on the oh. face of the in earth. In the face of the world, I, I <laughs> come on, you're up there for a big rivalry game. Yeah, can we just make a note on that too? By the way, how are we putting a big rivalry game on a Wednesday night? Can I just for a second, a Wednesday night for a rivalry? You're right. You want to do CMU Ball State on a Wednesday, sell your soul for TV? Great. Rivalry game should this be on game a Saturday. Needs to be on a Saturday. Because not everybody's like me. Not a, alums aren't driving up on a Wednesday to watch Central Michigan play. I would be there with you if it wasn't but Wednesday. But noted alums are. That's oh, the difference. That's, that's the Central Michigan difference right there. Let me ask right you there. a question. Would it kill them? Like, Who's been any good at broadcast that's come out of CMU besides you? So would it kill them for you to get the Costa Broadcast Center or like the Costa Press Box? Mm. What are they waiting on? I'm asking. I don't know the answers to these questions. Why? You should. This is your birthright. This is what you've earned. It's like Game of Thrones. You deserve a seat. The throne, yes. On the throne. It's the Iron Throne. It's all kinds On of the like CM- Chippewa <laughs> stuff. I mean, there's like a CMU media throne. You'd be on it. Who else they got? Be real. We mentioned Joe Staley, but Eric no, Fisher. Both good these offensive are, these are linemen. First round. Nobody knows them. Cooper they're offensive, Rush. They're off- Cooper Rush. There's another. There I went to school with Cooper. Okay, so if, if, if it was. <laughs> yeah, I deserve this. Yeah, okay, go ahead. He and I were in the Bahamas together one Christmas Eve. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, I'm just making a point. If you see cookies tomorrow <laughs> night, pay the man his respect. Texter says, uh, the first hundred and only hundred fans will get assigned Jim Cookie's autograph. Why can't they do Costa Bobblehead? I think they could. Might be a little late day before. I'm just making a point. You des- Look. You told me something, though, and then we'll get to the Pistons. I can't believe you're not listed as a noted alum. I can't they believe They were looking it. this up before the show on the, the you're website. Nowhere. No. You're I... dark, man. It's as if you don't exist. Now, it's one thing, you know, me, Kenny, you know, MSU don't recognize nobody. 
I mean, forget about it. But, like, you know, you in that little school, like, you're, I don't know, you're kind of the cat's meow. My little school, as he said. That's why I said patronizing to start the show today. <laughs> Look, I love it because Western's going to beat you tomorrow, so. Oh, Bite please. Please, but please. Your quarterback's got no arms. Their quarterback play's been morbid. Well, you know. We got a preview of that game. Cash the ticket. All right, <laughs> let's do business. Can we talk Pistons for a minute with noted CMU alum and Pistons pre and post host sometimes, James mm-hmm. Costa? I was on the game last night. Jim yeah, Nablaw. I know. And I'm getting a little worried. Now, it's two ways. I want to ask the question, are we getting to a point we got to talk about Dwayne Casey and maybe it's time to go full Nick Nurse on this thing? And two, I'm a little concerned, and I know it's early. Please don't go crazy, people. But Troy Weaver, seventh overall pick, takes Killian Ace. Number one overall pick, Cade Cunningham. Mm -hmm. And now this year, Jaden Ivey. And I was a big proponent of it because I'm going, well, they both played off the ball a little bit in college. Well, so far, it's been a disaster. I just, Jim, they might win 20 games. They're horrible. Only thing worse than those jerseys last night is them. How oh, are we disrespecting the jerseys? Please. David, are you going to stick up for these jerseys? I love those jerseys last night. It, why? Because it represents Detroit, St. Cecilia. And that's why Mike a, hates it. That is why Mike hates it. Show some respect. That is the history of Detroit basketball. Okay. Every other team, the city jerseys are cool. And they honor the city. That's honoring you know the what? city. Do better with your city. What's next? The St. Leo's Homeless Shelter Edition? Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave them alone. Listen, there's plenty to be critical the, of. The jerseys already have holes in them. The jerseys are all, it's like Nike Pro Combat. They're stained. Yeah, Kenny, throw the flag. Good call. <laughs> No, you want to talk about the, what's going on in the court? I get you. We'll have Bogey out there wheeling a shopping cart. We'll make it. We'll make it realistic. <laughs> I'm tired of it. This team never gets their jerseys right. Saint Cecilia's get out. All right, talk to me. Are, am I wrong? This team's way worse than I imagined. They're terrible. Well, and that's why I think you point to Dwayne Casey, right? It feels like Troy Weaver's made some good draft picks. I, I mean, thought who, so. Who's critical of Cade Cunningham? Who's critical of Jaden Ivey? I, think I feel like if you an... give your team a real backcourt, you start looking at this team and go, what the hell's wrong? Well, they and, don't play any I, defense. Well, they don't play any defense, which isn't that supposed to be Dwayne Casey's deal? How, how come they're dead last in offense? 30th in field goal percentage. Are we running any plays? Kate Cunningham's out last night. Hello, why does it take to the fourth quarter for Jaden Ivey to run the offense? Hello, Earth to Dwayne. Why does Bogdanovich have five turnovers? Why is he even in a position to turn it over five times? He's a shooter. Fourth quarter rolls around. I don't know, maybe we should let Jaden Ivey run the offense. Why does it take three quarters? I, I want to I wanna throw the number out. And I, and I understand. Look, we don't do a ton of Pistons. You know, you get into Christmas, you get to January, maybe a little. But, like, guys, they're one of the worst teams in the league. And, I mean, David, I know I, I, I accused you of doing hardcore drugs when you said, you know what, I think they could get to the upper 30s or 40 games. I go, David, whoa. David, we're, I'll be honest with you. Watching this team, they look like a 20-win team. I, I they look know. like a team that's going 20-62. and 62. I'm trying not to give up on it, but they I, look bad. And, and, look, I want them to be good, man. But the reality is the wings – are the team that took the step. Mm-hmm. This is bad. And I'm starting to wonder if Dwayne Casey has kind of outlived his use. This is a young team. Cookies pointed it out. Defense is Dwayne Casey's deal. Well, they're the worst in the league. And you're seeing some weird offensive execution where you're right. They need, And again, Bogdanovich is the adult in the room. That's a really nice piece for them. Mm-hmm. And... Whatever they're doing with the backcourt, it ain't working. See, and that's the thing. With a young core like they have, you don't want this to be their base. And what I mean by that is if Dwayne Casey's supposed to be the defensive uh, guy that we say he is or that he was in the past, this can't be their base of defense. you got to show them better. The only change you can make is Dwayne Casey. Everything else is young. You're not trading Ivy. You're not trading. No, 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 no. no, no. no. And how how much a defense is effort? A lot of it. Correct. A lot of it is. And if the message has gone sour. Well, and Troy Weaver is, I would say, the most aggressive general manager in basketball. He didn't hire Dwayne Casey. 
So I would monitor that. I just wanted to spend a segment or two before we basically go football all day long. And if you can come up with a more noted CMU alum under the age of 50 than the man I'm doing this show with today, I encourage you to take a text today. Because I don't think he's getting his just desserts. He's going up to CMU tomorrow. You ought to be the damn Grand Marshal. They do a little parade for the game or something? No? On a Wednesday night? Tailgate? They on got a, like, on a Wednesday night? You don't have a noted alumni tailgate? You got tailgate? people getting off work at 5, 6, drive a couple hours up. There's no time to tailgate on it. That's why this sh- the rivalry game should be a Saturday. Well, listen, I mean, from the sound of this alumni list, I don't know if everyone's working. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Where the where's the flag? <laughs> I mean, that, <laughs> where, where did the previous play for a potential targeting 